Hello everyone, welcome to KD Jagodi YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how you can get the generated sort analysis diagram or whatever you got on Jedi AI into a PowerPoint presentation. So this is a cool trick that you can use. Actually, uh, we are going to do this by using Visual Basic Web Application VBA. So if you use Microsoft products, definitely you need to know about this VBA thing. By the way, let's see how we can work with Jedi AI not a normal feature this is called alchemist feature wow that's great anyways i'm going to go to the screen now and here you can see i already uh, got into the jeda ai website and now what i'm going to do is uh, just click the login uh, button now you can see something is happening here now i'll be redirected to the uh, yeah, dashboard of the jeda ai guys what you have to do is here you can click on this new workspace after logging to the jeda ai platform so then you will be able to see a great thing like this okay i mean this is called a workspace this is not a normal workspace this is a ai workspace ai powered workspace sometimes you can say this is kind of a ai whiteboard also ai powered whiteboard also because you can use pen here okay like this and also if you need a brush so you can brush it also or you can get some rectangles maybe squares or whatever you got on this tools panel actually today i'm not going to uh, tell you about those things because i will definitely show you what we can do with jedi ai uh, tools in my live program i will definitely schedule uh, one live in the next week now uh, what i'm going to do is first i'm going to make a sort analysis here okay for that you can go to this ai menu okay just click click this and then you will be able to see there are some uh, tabs called visual analysis diagrams wireframes writer art wow lot of okay, actually here why i what what we need to generate sort analysis this is the thing strategic and planning here you can see sort analysis is there not only sort, sort analysis you can generate business model lean canvas and there are so many things that you can generate as a businessman maybe if you are working as a salesperson there are a lot of things that you can generate by the way now i'm going to generate a sort analysis here okay uh, so i'm going to generate a traditional sort analysis so you can see there are uh, more uh, actually sort analysis types so i'm going to use a traditional sort analysis for what i need to uh, generate a sort analysis for make maybe uh, tomato sauce Okay, I don't know by the way I will select tomato sauce because I just already uh, typed that thing maybe not for this but some uh, thing for maybe uh, for others okay actually I don't know however, however I will uh, type tomato sauce that's the product okay uh, for whom actually I have to type uh, whom I need to target okay who is the strategy and this is for like that so also here for you goals maybe sales maybe uh, a different reason that you are targeting on okay and also what are the internal and external factors to consider actually you can uh, make them uh, here uh, you can write them here by the way also if you got any additional contents then you can type them here also and make sure that you you can click on ai model actually you can use maybe gpt 4o maybe gpt actually gpt 4 mini and also cloud tree haiku if you use c4 plus also if you got o1 actually alchemist plan then you can use one mini and one preview also actually for this i'm going to use multi llm agents because as an alchemist feature okay so i can use here multi llm agent uh, it means that i can generate uh, more than one uh, one vba script okay actually not a vba script what i'm going to generate oh I'm not going to generate a VBA script here. I'm going to generate the sort analysis here. Just remember that, okay? Uh, for this, I'm going to click Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. Uh, really like that model. And also GPT 4O. And also I'm going to use Llama 370 billion parameters, okay? Uh, instead of Llama, I will use O1, O1 preview model. This is great. Now, what I have to do is, okay? Now what I have to do is I can go down and also just click on this advanced option just think if you got a uh, data maybe maybe data file like excel or csv file then you can upload here okay i'm not going to do that right now because i will definitely show you how you can do uh, that in a different video for sure and also here you can click on this document inside and then you can upload a pdf or something else okay then you can uh, ask some questions from that document also so just think uh, if you got a maybe reference document for the generating a sort analysis then it will definitely uh, make a sort analysis by using that document okay those are the advanced options uh, you can use 
anyways i'm just making it simple so i'm going to click on the generate button and now i have to wait until something is generating you can see already sort analysis uh, for tomato sauce generated by gpt40 now already generated cloud 3.5 on it also and now it's working with o1 preview so you know how o1 preview works actually it takes some time you know on preview do the analysis deep research okay then it will uh, give the output okay this is the sort analysis for tomato sauce by given uh, given by the o1 preview okay guys you know there are some differences okay but you can get so many ideas using this thing actually you can identify what are the strengths with weaknesses and traits maybe opportunities okay if we can upload a document then you will be able to get a very unique uh, sort analysis for that document okay by the way now what you can do is actually you can select this diagram okay you can select this one and here you can click on this download option and then you can click on the white background actually i'm not going to tell you that thing now let's see how you can get this generated sort analysis uh, to a powerpoint presentation first make sure that you already made uh, made a uh, powerpoint presentation and then make sure that you uh, saved it as pptm i will show you from the beginning uh, for sure okay first i'm going to uh, delete actually i'm going to delete these things okay now what i'm going to do is right click and then new and uh, then uh, click on this microsoft powerpoint presentation here what you have to do is just uh, name it as ex02.pptx actually you don't have to type pptx because i just type because i uh, really selected okay everything uh, when i was renaming the uh, file okay what you have to do is just open it and then what you can do is click on the first slide and file and save as and also just go to the browse what you have to do is here you have to make sure that you click on this powerpoint macro enable presentation pptm because if you don't do that you won't be able to save the code for future users and then what you have to do is you can see uh, pptm here make sure that you can see that and also save click on the save button now what you have to do is don't worry about this thing actually you can select this one and then blank okay then you, you will see nothing like placeholders here go to developer tab if you can't see the developer tab here what you have to do is just uh, right click on the home button okay home tab and then go to customize the ribbon and then what you have to do is go down and then you can see the developer tick you can see that and you have to tick that and make sure then press ok then you will be able to see the developer tab here what you have to do is now just click on this visual basic for application actually this is not visual basic this is visual basic for application now we just made all the things that we need here and by the way now what you have to do is just select this um, sort analysis and just click on the ai option here and then you have to type create a vba script for ppt to transform this design into a single ppt slide make sure the design remains the same like this so now what you have to do is make sure that you select text option here uh, because the default option is analysis so you have to make sure you generate a text because we are going to generate a text uh, based code so we, that's why we have to uh, use that and also now i'm going not going to use the multi llm agent here so i'm going to use cloud 3.5 sonnet because i really think cloud 3.5 sonnet has a go has actually got a very cool uh, design ideas especially uh, when i was uh, designing some uh, websites actually cloud 3.5 sonnet is the best thing you can also make some websites uh, using jira ai these models okay uh, you can see so, so many variations by using the multi model thing and here what i'm going to do is uh, just click on the generate button and now what i have to do is just wait until it generates some cool now you can see the whole vba code has been generated what you have to do is you can click on double click on this one and then what you have to do is just click on this sub part okay before the sub part and then go down you can use control and my scroll button and now what you have to do is hold the shift and click on the end of the end sub words okay and now you can see only the thing we need is sub and end sub between everything between the sub and end sub so now we have already selected uh, what we needed and what we have to do is control c to select control c to copy the things we selected and we can go with microsoft visual basic for application and here what you have to do is just go to insert button actually insert option and then you can click on the module okay then you already made a module here and then what you have to do is control v just use maybe right click on and paste 
after pasting the code now what i have to do is just click on this run button and then it will generate something like this okay here i'm going to show you this is the thing generated now here you can do anything that you need okay you can select everything here then you can go with maybe just go to this okay you can align it as you need and also you can see multicolor uh, output is there so what you can do is unlimited okay so this is what i need really needed to uh, let you know how to do uh, how to uh, transform your jedi generated thing into a powerpoint presentation okay so this is great right okay i hope you can comment it uh, well uh, so you just learned about about the conclusion actually you just learned about the jedi ai how to generate a sort analysis and how you use vba script uh, for uh, making uh, something uh, like this okay actually you can see uh, how it aligns uh, with our requirement okay so thank you very much for watching this video until the end of the video and i hope you will be able to see more videos in the future for jedi ai and all other ai tools thank you very much bye